they actually rocking the same hairstyle. I ain't even gonna lie. They look like brother and sister. <laughs> that looked like his sister came up to him. He like, huh? <laughs> they look like brother and sister over there. They need to go back to the crib. What they do it. But uh, anyways, <laughs> I mean, I, I, look at her from the back and then look at him, him from the side. Like, they are literally the same person. I'm not. Right here, right here, right here, right now, right now. It's the right time, right time, right time. It's the right time, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Tell the whole pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down. Tell the nigga pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down, pie down. What's good, Shadow Realm? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. <laughs> if I'm talking to someone and we're in a talking phase and I don't want to give him none, then I'm definitely going to double back on some on some shit that I didn't have before. So you want to make the n you really like yeah. wait. Do, do you know, is this 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 yeah. thing is interesting because for me, a yeah, person is like, all right, so why do, you, why do you make that guy wait? It's not about waiting. It's not about waiting. I mean, like, that's, like, that's like, the thing. Like, I, I, I want to, because I'm like, be real. I'm not about to sit here and wait, and your dick is not what I like. Right. Like, exactly. Yeah, it, I, if it's wet, it is little, because like, we can go ahead and cancel this yeah, right now. Yeah, right, right now. We don't need to be wasting First six months, date. and then I'm like, oh, no, I'm going. I really want to be, like, I, honestly, I really, little, if I go on, You got to ask then. Wow. Listen. <laughs> they, on my, they on my ass It's today, to the man. point to where I honestly, I honest to God want to do this. Like, if I'm going on a first date with somebody, I want to see your dick. Yeah, I want you yeah. to whip that shit. I want to see it. If you need to go to the like bathroom, the get your no, because, you don't gotta whip it out. But I, I, I don't want to do that because it's like, oh my God, like, y'all are so aggressive and she just want to f*** you or whatever. But really, I just I just want to know am I wasting my time with you, sir? Extremely important. And use a dildo and do all of that. It's, it's more than just like... Nothing. She want meat to meat. That's what I'm saying. So it's once the I whole do that, the meat sex for me, like meat the whole everything. But see, with me, like I'm just a sensitive person. Like I can't just have yeah, sex you're with Gemini. you and be like, okay, but like can, I. But can I, you can you ladies talk to a guy and be like, yeah, I think he's got a big. Or can you see it? Oh no, 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 because no, no. I've done it in a People life. give big dick energy all the time. Stop giving big dick energy if your dick is not big. I just like, keep it real. It's okay. Simple. <laughs> if I'm talking to someone. All right, guys, that was a lot. And uh, I mean, it basically just shows how important the size of the boat is, even though you have a lot of women who say, oh, it's the motion in the ocean. And yes, um, obviously, there are some women who are OK with the motion in the ocean. But size does matter in every regard. And that's why we're talking about it today, because when she's breaking this down, she says she wants to know up front. She wants you to pull up to the date with your check in hand and your D on the table, slamming it, it like the checkbook. I, I mean, it's crazy, but <laughs> this is what they're expecting nowadays. She even spoke about being deceived by guys with big D energy. And if you guys don't know what big D energy is, it is the perception from a woman's point of view of a man who is confident and exudes the energy as if he had something hanging down there. Now, the reality is the most most of the guys who are actually, you know, super outgoing and giving off that energy, a lot of times they're not really packing it and a lot of times they are trying to um they have to overcompensate in their social ability or whatnot not every guy obviously but there are a lot of guys who just embellish and they're real outspoken and they're out there and they might be moving confident but in reality they're not really hanging down there but they have a really strong personality and that draws the woman in it also could be um, connected to looks as well but i mean it just goes to show you how important size is to these ladies i mean the fact that she said he she wanted him to pull his meat out straight away it pretty much tells you that she's ran through obviously i would not personally advise you to take any of these types of chicks seriously because you can already tell that she gets around and she was saying that oh well she doesn't want to be that forward because she doesn't want to seem like a 304 but the reality is i mean you already gave off that energy <laughs> when you came in the crib when you came in the building to see 
a lot of times men we don't have to wait to see the woman's body because we could just click the link in her bio so nowadays it's a little different so we already know what we working with but the women they're kind of dumbfounded they can only see maybe what you put on social media how many rounds should a guy be able to go at minimum six to eight six, six to eight six 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 bruh but it depends like in one in one setting it it depends on it could be breaks it could be breaks how, like how long of a break like within the like it can be breaks within the time not it don't have to necessarily be back to back but the okay, first that's... two to three rounds can be back to back that's normal but the other few can be spaced out that's normal how many rounds so she's basically saying that she wants to have intercourse six to eight times a day and i'm gonna tell you right now this speaks of a woman who either doesn't have a job or her job is intercourse work i'm telling you that right now guys if you are a working man if you are a malcolm a, a first tier second tier or third tier malcolm and if you guys don't know what a malcolm is i suggest you go to my prior videos to get the full explanation of what a malcolm is but i'll do a quick rundown of what a malcolm is a malcolm is a mildly attractive lucrative communicative operational likable man so every time you hear me call malcolm out that is what i'm referring to now there are a few tiers to the malcolms the first tier is the massively attractive lucrative communicative operational likable man and then you have the mid tier which is the mildly attractive lucrative communicative operational likable man and then you have the third tier malcolm which which is the medium ugly lucrative communicative operational likable man so there are tiers to the malcolm but basically my point is that this woman has not been dealing with any malcolms okay she's dealing with maybe social media influencers maybe athletes rappers or whatnot and this also tells you about her body count guys because there is no way in the world that a man has time to go six to eight rounds in a day unless he don't got no job or he i mean he's got to be <laughs> he's got to be straight bumming to even have that time now i get it maybe it's spring break y'all in college whatever and he should have the stamina to be able to give you what you need to pleasure you but at the end of the day, six to eight rounds is crazy, but that just goes to show you the emphasis that a lot of these modern women are putting on intercourse. So not only do you have to have your game right, not only do you have to have your body right, not only do you have to have your confidence on point, not only do you have to have your money right, but you better be packing in bed and you better be giving her that six to eight rounds. So the final video that I have for you guys is... It looks like spring break in South Beach, Miami, Florida. Street interviews, beach interviews, however you want to call it. It's lit. We got the brother um, Leon out here, and he does uh, street interviews in Athens, Georgia, my alma mater. So shout out to the brother here. But he is doing a what do you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10. And we actually have a pretty funny surprise in the video, so let's get to it. What do you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? nine and a half you think other people would agree yeah what okay okay so um <clears throat> i gotta stop her right there she gave herself a nine and a half me personally i would probably be closer to the seven range um <clears throat> you know she is beautiful but at the end of the day a nine and a half to be a nine at all for one you've got to have d cup boobs i mean and they got to be natural they can't be no manufactured b type stuff you've got to have like full d cups to even be considered a nine, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, her bottom half is straight. She's an athletic looking girl. She's beautiful in the face, all that. But, you know, a little too bare chested. She's rocking with the bee stings, it looks like, which is fine, you know what I'm saying? It still looks good on her. But to you can't rate yourself a nine if you don't have big boobs. You just can't. What do you rate this girl on a scale of one to 10? Oh, she fired up. 10 i love her what do you so he said 10 he love her so a lot of i mean i i guess i'm more objective when it comes to the rating he's just saying oh 10 because i want to smash and he probably you know that's probably the type of girl that he considers a 10 me personally you know i've seen better you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten mm, 6.5 do you think other people would agree so he rated himself a 6.5 honestly 
you know, I would probably say he's closer to a five. He is at at this point at his current state, he is a Malcolm, okay? He's a he's a third tier Malcolm in my opinion. He's a medium ugly, lucrative, communicative, operational, likable man. Uh he needs to get in shape, okay? He's got to cut some weight, maybe hit the gym. If he lost and and cut up and got I say he probably needs to lose 30 pounds and put on about 20 pounds of muscle but if he did that then he could definitely escalate to he could probably he even has the potential to be a massively attractive lucrative communicative operational likable man but at this current state in the brother's you know journey in life he's he's a medium ugly lucrative communicative operational likable man so guys this is how important it is to get in shape that's why you got to buy my course the hashtag reclaim your throne elite d1 training course because once you get in shape that can change your odds okay remember i've been seeing a whole bunch of side by side pictures of jonathan majors before and after doing marvel movies and he's a totally different person now the sisters think that he's civil rights era fine that's what they said he's civil rights era fine even though we all know that he was a third tier malcolm a medium ugly lucrative communicative operational likable man like he's not He's not really, you know, attractive to as as far as like the, um, <clears throat> I guess, the standard of attraction, especially facially. He's not really there, but because he has the status and because he got in shape, that increased his um, sexual marketplace desirability. So let's keep going. Hopefully. What would you guys rate this guy on a scale of one to ten? Oh, yeah, he's cute. Like a seven and a half. You think bro's cute? I do, yeah. Are you going to say something to him? I mean, sure. Why not? Excuse me. Are you playing football? He set her up, too. I ain't even going to lie. He set her up because he saw that brother's type. They actually rocking the same hairstyle. I ain't even going to lie. They look like brother and sister. <laughs> that looked like his sister came up to him. He like, huh? <laughs> they look like brother and sister over there. They need to go back to the crib. What they do it. But uh, anyways... <laughs> I mean, I, I, look at her from the back and then look at him, him from the side. Like, they are literally the same person. I'm not going to lie. So, this is actually a good match for him because this is on his level. They're both at the same level of attractiveness. They're both overweight. They both have the same, you know, curly hair. And I, I love the natural curly hair look that she's rocking. She needs to lose about 50 pounds, okay? But, um... They're they're a match made in heaven, okay? They're on the same level of attractiveness. I would say he's probably closer to a four. Now that I'm thinking about it, he's a little below average. Um, he's a, you know, like I said, a, a third tier Malcolm. And she's below average too. She's probably a four as well. She's got a cute face, but she's overweight. Um, and she's short and stubby. So she kind of walking around looking like an eraser. You know what I'm saying? But that's fine. Uh, she can improve and that's why i present you guys the reclaim your throne elite d1 training course it's not just for men it's for women as well because you can improve your life by getting in the best shape of your life but she goes and presses up on him he's like what the hell she says you want to play and and let's see where it goes from there you want to play sure wait first let me talk to you i think you're cute can i get your number you can, I don't have my phone number you get my number though i got my phone on me nine five four what's your name anwar can you go anwar What'd you yes. here for? Something fun? I look here. Alright. Yeah, that's me. What would you rate her game on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, she ain't really had no game. She's asking me for my number. How would you rate the interaction on a scale of 1 to 10? Like, Maybe like a 6? <laughs> what do you rate? So, um, that was very interesting. She definitely got denied, though. And he wasn't really feeling her. But that just goes to show that even, you know, the lower tier guys still want hot girls they still want bad girls you see how he reacted when he saw her picture he said oh she a 10 i love her and then when the other girl came up to him uh you know he he was not attracted to her at all now maybe if she lost 50 maybe even 60 pounds she would be more attractive to him but at this current state she's not and i, I you know i'm not even gonna knock her because like she does have potential um she needs to lose the weight really quickly because all she's gonna do is get bigger and bigger from here uh but if she loses that weight man she def i mean she's got a really cute face a, a really feminine disposition um she she seems down to earth she's rocking her natural hair 
I mean, she has potential, but you got to get in the gym, baby. You got to get in the gym, honey. You got to shed them pounds, calorie deficit, all that. Same with the brother as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is just a pure, it's a pure example of what men are actually attracted to versus what, yeah, you can get my number, but, you know, high attraction versus low attraction. You know, I think we talk about a lot of times what women want. And we never talk about what the men want. And this just goes to show, as, car, as far as physicality, what the men want. So y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Reclaim Your Throne. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. Same relationship questions to you. Email down below with a screenshot of your cash app so I know you pay your tithes, man. Y'all need to be on your mark freaking name with the BS. You already know. Reclaim Your Throne. Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne.